excuse me. I'm Crystal's mother. Yes, how may I help you? I'm coming here for Crystal. Who should I speak with? I'm her teacher. You can talk with me. Please, have a seat. Can we start? Mm -hmm. Crystal has been coming back home late these days. I would like to ask, has the school had any activities recently? Yes, the regional competition is coming up next month. Crystal's going to participate in it. I wish she can focus on her studies. Also, I wish she would come back home earlier. Mrs. Hu, this competition is a good opportunity for Crystal to prove herself. She is a very good runner. Running can't be her everything. She needs a good job. So she has to give up this competition, then focus on studying. From what I can see, her grades don't look so bad. I believe she actually does her best in both. Could you tell her to stop practicing? If you insist. But I do hope that you will listen to how she feels about this. We've already decided her future. Thank you. I hope she quits this activity as soon as possible. Hey, Mom. Why didn't you drive the car today? You always drive the car. Oh, the car is having some problems. OK. Chris, I talked with your teacher this morning. Is that why you picked me up from school? Yes, and I know your aunt's the same as Ellen and Kate, but I still hope you can do as well as them. I'm not them. And if you hope or even force me to be like them, it's never going to happen. If you insist on using this edging to talk with me, I'll lock you in your room. Fine, then just do it. I've never been the child you wanted me to be. Sometimes I feel like I'm not really your daughter. Hey, hey Chris, come back. Whoever you are, I won't open the door. What? You fought with Mom again. It's none of your business. Hey, I can help you study. I can help you too. My problem isn't just, just about studying. You can't help me. And I don't need your help. Just get out of my room. Uh, I know what your problem is. It's because you're stupid, huh? What are you talking oh. about, Alan? Get out of the room. Hey, I was just kidding. Don't be so serious. Chris, if, if you have any questions, just let me know. You know, we are sisters. I talked with your mother. She wants you to quit track and field. I know how important this competition is to you. Could you give me some time to think about it? Crystal, I truly believe in you. I know it doesn't seem like you have a choice right now, but ultimately the decision for your future is yours. Should we talk with the children about it? Mm -mm. Not now. We should not have to worry about this. I don't think we can hide this for a long time. Don't worry. This will get better. I talked with Chris yesterday. Oh? Who are you? Jennifer, we had a consensus. Don't force her too much. She has her own life. You don't understand. Kate and Ellen can do well with their studying, but Chris just can't. She just wants to do something different, and that would destroy her life. We tried to force her to study harder, but she 
obviously can't be like them. If she does something that she likes, she can still prove herself to us. No. I'm thinking that's the way we chose for her is the best. I hope she can understand. I'm doing this for her because I'm really worried about her. I really do. If she can't do well studying, we probably just tell her to find a job instead of college. That way she won't waste her time. Jennifer, we can care for her, but we can't tell her not to go to college. She's young. She deserves to have a college life. I already made a decision. Do you know what time it is? Why did you come back so late again? Mom, I just... Stop! Can't... I don't care about what you're doing. Why can't you just be like Kate and Alan? Mom, stop. Crystal, if you were half as smart as them, I would be so happy. Mom, that's unfair. Whenever Kate or Alan come back this late, you never blame them. Do you know how I feel? Do you want to know why I came back late? Could you just calm down and listen to me for a little bit? Hey, Mom. I'm back. Hi, dear. Go back to your room. I have something important to talk to your sister about. Oh. I see. Mom. I gave up on regionals just like you wanted. But I hope this is the last time you disturb my life. I just hope it can be better, like Kate and Alan. They're studying hard, so I'm not worried about their future. But you... Don't force me to be like them. Maybe just one time, only one time, you could think about my feelings. Maybe I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to find a way to keep going. You don't need to find a way. Because I already chose a way for you. You just need to study hard and then find a good job. Mom, this is my life, not yours. Crystal, I know you had to give up at the competition, but you have another opportunity to build your future. I recommended you for the track and field scholarship. Really? Wow. Yeah, I think you can keep running in college. Thank you so much for this opportunity. But I need some time to think about it. The teachers all here believe in your talent in track and field. The school is giving you this scholarship because we think you deserve it. Good luck. I have something to tell you, too. Oh. What? I haven't told Kate and Aaron because I hope they can concentrate on their school. But you... Your brother and I have thought about this a lot. We have a financial problem. I think he's just not going to college and to find a job. Why don't you ask Kate and Alan to find a job? They don't like studying. That's true. So what do you want to tell me? Um, I forgot. Let me think about it and tell you later. <laughs> 